brush up your knowledge now on BBC Two. Welcome to the quiz show that demands nothing less than perfection. Behind this screen are four contestants who will be hoping their knowledge is flawless because one single mistake could give the game away. This is perfection. And welcome to the quiz show where only perfect play is good enough. Behind me are the contestants. We call them the usual suspects. They're in our isolation room. In a moment, one of them will be randomly selected to join me here to play perfection. Then they'll face a series of true or false statements. For example, if I said, the play Romeo and Juliet is set in Verona, would you say that's true or false? Well, if you'd said true, I can tell you you'd be right. Answering true or false might seem easy, but if the contestant gets a single answer wrong, their opponents, the usual suspects, will be out into the game to capitalise on their mistakes. So, you know how the game works. Let's meet the usual suspects. I'm Guy, I'm a web producer from South London, and this is my first game. I'm Naomi, I'm a customer services manager, I'm from the west of Ireland, and this is my third game. Hi, my name's Matthew, I'm a barrister, I'm from South London, and this is also my third game. Hello, my name's Mike, I'm retired, I'm from Poulton Lafayette near Blackpool, and this is my fourth game. OK, well, look, welcome to you all, and best of luck as we now find out which one of you will be randomly picked to play perfection. Matthew, you've been chosen. Please come and play perfection. Matthew, welcome to the game. Hello. A barrister. There's an awful lot of study goes into that, isn't there? There is an awful lot of study. He and... grades at school, then university to do a law degree, yep. then on a couple of years at law school, yep. then you have to go yep. and... Articles. Then you've got to get a pupilage and it's all, yeah. Then you leave to go into politics, that's... <laughs> yeah, it's... that's what the last but one Prime Minister did, yeah. yeah. So are you going to stick with it or are you going off into politics? I won't go off into politics. <laughs> I, I'd like to think I've got a little bit more sense. Uh, well, OK, Matthew, it's now you versus... The usual suspects, they were your teammates, they're now your enemies. Their job is to stop you from winning the prize money because your failure would obviously mean the prize money rolls over to the next game where one of them could be playing for a bigger total. And you wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Well, they're nice, but no. No, it'd be nice to have the cash, wouldn't it? Every game <laughs> on perfection is worth £1,000. Here's the good news. Nobody's won the last game, so the prize fund currently stands at £2,000. <laughs> So, if you walk away with £2,000, what's it going to be spent on? Um, well, I'd probably, because um, they have supported me through my legal studies, I'd probably send my parents to Venice, I think. That's a very so, nice thing to do. Yeah. Here's how the game works. You'll play three rounds and then a final. Every round that you achieve perfection will make the final easier for you. However, if your performance is anything less than perfect, the usual suspects will have a chance to step in and steal the round, making the final that much harder. More of that to follow later. Uh, usual suspects, we're going to switch you off for now so you can't see or hear anything. And away they go. Matthew, you can now talk through your answers without giving away any vital knowledge. OK? Yep. Each round consists of four true or false statements. You'll be answering against the clock. You'll only have 45 seconds. And once you've given your answers, your first answer, it'll be locked in. You ready? Mm-hmm. Good. Let's play perfection. <laughs> your 45 seconds starts now. There are over 300 MSPs in the Scottish Parliament. False. False. Ghostbusters was a hit single for Billy Ocean. I have no idea. Um... False. False. People who build church pews are called pugilists. That's false. False. And finally, Ben Johnson was disqualified from the 1984 Olympics. Let's say true on that, shall we? True. Yeah. And with time to spare, you've answered all four statements. We appear to give you a little laugh along the way there. Mm. Yeah. Which one? Uh, I don't know anything about B and C pugilists. I, 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 in a bizarre way, I'd probably quite like them to be called that. OK. Uh, before we reveal exactly how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. Now, don't forget, they'll be able to hear you. So, usual suspects, these are the four statements, and next to them are Matthew's answers. Mike. I think B could be true, and I'm not quite sure about A, but uh, on balance, I think he's probably right. Well, they're not sure that you've achieved perfection. The moment of truth has arrived. You need to have answered all four statements correctly to win the round. Let's find out how many you've got correct. <laughs> Three 
three out of four is close, but it's not perfection. That means you let your enemies, the usual suspects, into the game. Usual suspects, can you steal the round? You can see Matthew's answers. You need to change just one of them. Well, C is definitely false, isn't it? Yes, Because they're, they're boxes, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, then, and I think D is, D is, is true, true, I think. True as well. I think. Um, so it's between A and B. I'd go B, probably. B. Would you? Is okay. that what we're okay. going to change? Yeah, we'll yeah. change B, Nick. Lovely. B changes from false to true, leaving A, C and D as answered by Matthew. Usual suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. If the statement turns green, it's true. If it turns red, it's false. There are over 300 MSPs in the Scottish Parliament. Is that true or false? It's false. There are 129. Ghostbusters was a hit single for Billy Ocean. Is that true or false? It's false. In actual fact. Ray Parker Jr. Does that ring any bells? Ray Parker Jr.? No. Anybody? Yeah. No. <laughs> OK. So, usual suspects, you have failed to achieve perfection and failed in your chance to steal the round. I wonder how you're doing at home. Are you still on for perfection? Let's find out for you. People who built church pews are called pugilists. True or false? Yep, it's false. It's boxers, obviously, pugilists. Uh, ben Johnson was disqualified from the 1984 Olympics. True or false? Well, we know where this is going, don't we? False. 1988 in Seoul was where he's disqualified. Usual suspects, had you achieved perfection? You would now have the opportunity to make Matthew's chances of winning the prize fund that much harder in the final, and here's how. Matthew, this is your final board. These six blank spaces need to be filled with subject categories. Behind each category will be a true or false statement. You need to answer all six correctly to win the prize fund. Here are the final round categories. They run through Olympics, the alphabet, Italy, and various other things too. Had you achieved perfection, you would now have the opportunity of adding two categories of your choice to the board. But because neither side won the round, the two categories that were due to be chosen will now be carried over to the next round, meaning there will be four categories on offer. Usual suspects, time to switch you off. We'll see you in round two. And away they go. Matthew, now that the usual suspects are gone and can't hear you, what do you make of the categories? Uh, my modern pop probably stops with something like George Formby, so let's not... <laughs> um, probably not that. You ready for the next round? Yes. OK. Let's play round two. <laughs> Your 45 seconds starts now. Dr Crippen was a pioneering 20th century surgeon. Now, was it 20th century? Or was it earlier? Or was it later? I can't think well, it can be later because it's stupid. Um, false. False. James Last is a famous flautist. True. True. The TV series Hollyoaks is set in Liverpool. False. False. And finally, Tagalog is a language spoken in the Philippines. True. True. And with plenty of time to spare, despite taking a little while over the first one, you've answered all four statements. Before we reveal how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects, these are the four statements, and next to them are Matthew's answers. Uh, Mike, has he achieved perfection? Um, no, he hasn't, because uh, I think B is wrong. James Last is a famous flautist. It's James Galway that's a famous flautist. Right. Guy? Um... I think he's uh, probably right on the other three, but again, I think B is the, uh, with it, especially with Mike's wisdom, could be the wrong one. <laughs> right, Matthew, let's find out how many are correct. Oh. Three out of four is simply not good enough, Matthew. You've now let your enemies, the usual suspects, into the game. Usual suspects, can you steal the round? You can see Matthew's answers. You need to change just one. I wonder which one <laughs> you're going to change. B. If you you sound pretty confident. I, th I think. On that, I mean, so. James Last could be a, a flautist as well, but I think that's that's James Galway. And Two flautists called James. That's absurd. <laughs> 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 so I think we'll, we'll change B to false, Nick. Please. B changes from true to false, leaving A, C and D as Matthew originally answered. Use your suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. Dr Crippen was a pioneering 20th century surgeon. True or false? False. He was a homeopathic doctor accused of murdering his wife. James Last is a famous flautist. True or false? This is the one you changed? False. 
famous band leader. And yes, James Galway is a famous bulldog. Um, so you know which way this is going now, don't you? The TV series Hollyoaks is set in Liverpool. True or false? It is, of course, false because it's set in Chester. And Tagalog is a language spoken in the Philippines. True or false? Yep, absolutely true. Congratulations, usual suspects. You have achieved perfection. <laughs> yes, Matthew, because the usual suspects have succeeded where you failed, they've stolen the round. Usual suspects, you now have the opportunity to make Matthew's chances of winning the prize fund of £2,000. Quite a bit harder. Let's see the final board. Because you won the round, usual suspects, you've earned the right to choose four categories to add to the board. That's two from this round and the two that rolled over from round one. So which four would you like Matthew to play in the final? Do you want we'll, to go Olympics? We'll go Olympics, yeah. please, Nick. Olympics goes across first. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter goes across second. I'm not entirely sure he's a modern pop type of yeah, man. Yeah, I, I probably what do you reckon, agree. Like? Uh, yeah, go modern, modern pop. pop. Yeah. Why not? Modern pop, Nick. Modern pop goes across third. And finally, famous planes. I famous don't think planes. Could be that yeah, down on famous planes. Yeah, it's famous random. planes. Yeah. yeah, famous planes, Nick. Famous planes becomes the fourth category into the final. Congratulations, use your suspects. You won the second round. It's time to switch you off, and we'll see you in round three. Matthew, with the usual suspects gone, that could have gone much worse. Really. It could have gone much worse. It's a mix, isn't it? Um, Famous planes, interesting, <laughs> modern pop. Mm. Well, look, with one more chance still to find perfection, let's play round three. <laughs> Your 45 seconds starts now. Monte Cristo is an island off the coast of Italy. Well, you've got the count of Monte Cristo, don't you? Is it an island? And is it off the coast of Italy? Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> False. False. Matt Dawson won a series of Celebrity False. Masterchef. False? No, true. True, please. Can I have that? I have to accept your first okay, answer, False. Which was False. False. Yeah. Stephen Fry invented the internet service Twitter. False. False. And finally, fingernails grow faster in summer than in winter. That's probably... False. False. Again, just to clear up, uh, we do have yeah, to take your fine. first answer. Yeah. Matthew, you've answered all four statements in the allotted time. It's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects, these were the four statements, and next to them are Matthew's answers. Naomi, how's he done this time? I think he's done pretty good, Nick. Um, I'm kind of debating D, though, whether or not it could be true. Matthew, it's the moment of truth. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many are correct. <laughs> One of the four, a long way short of perfection, Matthew. That means you let your enemies in again. Use your suspects. Can you steal the round? You can see Matthew's answers. You need to change three of them. Do you know what? A, B, and D. Right C is right, as in it's false. It's when false. He said right, yeah, yeah, yeah right. Because Matt Dawson, I think he did do MasterChef as well as Strictly. Right, right. Yeah. So A, B, and D were changing. A, B, and D, yeah. Lovely. A changes from false to true. Yeah. B changes from false to true, and D changes from false to true, leaving C as Matthew answered. Use your suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. Monte Cristo is an island off the coast of Italy. Is that true or false? It is true. Matt Dawson won a series of Celebrity MasterChef. Is that true or false? It is true. He won the first series in 2006. Stephen Fry invented the internet service Twitter. No. <laughs> in actual fact, it's false. He uses it a lot, and he's become a very famous user of it, with a lot of followers, but no, he didn't invent it. And finally, fingernails grow faster in summer than in winter. Is that false or true? It's actually true. Congratulations, usual suspects. You have achieved perfection. <laughs> That's not great news for you, Matthew. The usual suspects have succeeded where you failed and they've stolen the round. Let's have a look at the final board. Because you won the round, usual suspects, you've earned the right to choose the last two subject categories to go on that board as well. Which two would you like? Tennis could be. Yeah, tennis. Yeah. Tennis. Yeah. Yeah. Tennis is going in, is it? Tennis going in, Nick. Thank yeah. you. Last one. Italy. I wouldn't give him Italy or No, because he's going to send his parents to Venice. 
film stars. I yeah. go film stars. Oh, you sorry. go film stars. We yeah. go film stars. Thank you, film stars, becomes the sixth and final category. We now know our six final categories. They are Olympics, Harry Potter, Modern Pop, Famous Planes, Tennis and Film Stars. OK, guys, time to switch you off for the final time. Cheerio. So, what do you make of it in the end? Um, if any stumbling blocks, it's probably going to be something like tennis. It's going to be interesting to see, isn't it? Yeah. £2,000 mm -hmm. in play. It's time to play the final. <laughs> Matthew, this is the all-important final. If you can achieve perfection, you could be leaving with a prize fund of £2,000. If you fail, you'll be leaving with nothing, which is great news for the usual suspects, as one of them could be playing for a rollover of £3,000 on the next game. Let's play the final round. <laughs> Matthew, here are your final six categories. You must answer all six statements correctly if you want to win the £2,000. Think carefully. No time limit. But once you've given an answer, your first answer, it's locked in. Are you ready? Yes. Let's reveal your first statement. Please tell me whether you believe it to be true or false. Olympics. The tug of war was once an Olympic event. <laughs> now, you see, if you sort of think 1908 Olympics, which were held in London, and that sort of thing pre-war, pre the First World War, I would imagine it probably was. So, yes, I think that's true. I think it was an Olympic event. True. Harry Potter. <laughs> Lord Voldemort has been played by Rafe Fiennes. He has, and he's going to continue to be played by Rafe Fiennes. Um, yes, that's true. Thank you. Modern pop. Bleeding Love was Leona Lewis's first UK number one hit. Now. What did she win with? What did she win the X Factor with? Because that'll be the one that she would have got her UK number one hit with. One would presume. False. False. Famous planes. Concorde's last flight took place in 1993. Uh, so Concorde's last flight took place in 1993. That's false because it took place. For, it took place later on. False. Thank you. Tennis. Tim Henman was once disqualified from Wimbledon. He didn't win it, did he? Um, for a start, was he disqualified? Why would he have been disqualified? That's really difficult because it could be, I mean, obviously it could be one or the other. It's not going to be maybe, is it? Um, you know what? I think it's true. True? Yeah, true. Put true in. Otherwise, we'll be here for weeks. Film stars. Clint Eastwood is a former US state governor. He's a former US state governor. We've got Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's governor of California. And you've got Ronald Reagan, who was a famous actor. Of course, he went on to become president. But Clint Eastwood doesn't seem to be the type that would actually be a governor, so I'm going to say false. False? Yeah. Matthew, those answers are locked in. Remember, if there is one single mistake, you leave with nothing. Which ones are troubling you? Bleeding love. It could be that, but... It's a bit of an odd single, because X Factor finishes near Christmas time, and it's a bit of an odd single to come out at Christmas time. Um, and then the Tim Henman one could... It, I mean, that... I, no, I don't know. It could be anything. So C and E are the ones that you feel... The ones you're, yeah, the ones you're going to probably put at the end to... Yeah, those. <laughs> yeah, those ones. You've been watching my tape. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, look, let's bring back the usual suspects to see what they've got to say. Usual suspects, you can now see the final six statements, and next to them are Matthew's answers. Matthew, your answers are locked in, and you can't change them by yourself. But if you think you've made a mistake, you can unlock the board with the help of the usual suspects. This will, however, come at a cost. Usual suspects, I'm now going to ask you to tell me how well you think Matthew has done, if you want to help, and if you do, how much it will cost. Remember, all of you, you can't refer to any of the statements specifically. Matthew, who would you like to hear from first? Uh, let's go for the ladies first, of course. So, Naomi. Um, I think you've actually done really well, um, Matthew. I think possibly you could have won wrong, um, but unfortunately I'm not willing to come down, Matthew. Mike. I think you've done very well, but uh, certainly one of them I'm not, not too sure of, so unfortunately I, I won't be able to help you. Yeah. Sorry. And Guy, just because we have to. My <laughs> assistance also is less than forthcoming, but yes. I rest my case. Can I just check with you all up there? This is about hanging on for more cash, isn't it? Yes. Yes? <laughs> uh, you had a feeling it was going to go that way? Oh, yes. Matthew, none of the usual suspects are willing to help, so you're on your own. Yep. £2,000 at stake. 
six answers mm -hmm. away. Let's find out if you've achieved perfection. Remember, if the statement turns green, it's true. If it turns red, it's false. The tug of war was once an Olympic event. We need this to turn green to get you off to a flying start. Is it true or false? Absolutely right. From 1900, as late as 1920, yeah, it right. was actually an Olympic sport. Now, Lord Voldemort has been played by Rafe Fiennes. You said true, so we need this to turn green for you to carry on. Is it true or false? It is true. Two out of two. Great run. Now, what we could do is actually find out about C, but as no. you so rightly pointed out... No. That's not how we no. do it, is it? So we'll skip C, as it's one of the ones you're worried about, and go on to D. Concord's last flight took place in 1993. You needed to turn red to get halfway to the cash. Is it true or false? It is false. The last passenger flight was actually 10 years later than that, okay. in 2003. So, very good. Halfway there, halfway to £2,000. So, we press on. Tim Henwin. Oh, no. Tim Henwin no, was one no, of the other ones, wasn't it? Yeah, let's go for it. We don't want to go Why past not? that, don't yes, we? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. F. Clint Eastwood is a former US state governor. Uh, now, you reason there were several people that had become uh, US governors who were actors, mm -hmm. but Clint Eastwood wasn't one of them. So, you said false. Is it true or false? Yep, it's false. Okay. He was uh, mayor of Carmel in California. You are now two questions away from £2,000. So, we go back up to the two that you're uncomfortable with. Let's go back to C. Bleeding Love was Leona Lewis's first UK number one hit. You chose false. If it turns red, you're one away from taking home £2,000. Bleeding Love was Leona Lewis's first UK number one hit. Is it true or false? It okay. is false. <laughs> a moment like this was, in actual fact, uh, her what first was it number, a moment like this? A moment okay. like this. So, here we are. Uh, right. Five correct answers to the statements and just one to go. And we come to the Tim Henman question, the one that you said, well, you know, could go either way, really. You don't remember him being disqualified? No, but then I'm relatively young and I don't remember when he started playing tennis. I'm not a tennis fan. Well, so, it might it, interest you a little bit now because yeah. there's £2,000 riding on it. You said true, so you need this to turn green. If it turns green, you've won £2,000. If it turns red, despite having five correct answers, you'll be going home with nothing. So, Tim Henman was once disqualified from Wimbledon. Is that true or false for £2,000? <laughs> it's true! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> that wasn't too bad, was it? Not too so bad okay. at all. OK. 2,000 pounds. You achieved perfection. And just to let you know, <laughs> Tim Henman was once disqualified from Wimbledon, um, where he's, he, he sort of got angry with himself uh, right. and hit a tennis ball. But it didn't go where he meant it to go. Say, right. It actually hit a ball girl. Oh. It happened in 1995. See, there you go. Look, I was only... I was the tender age of 11 then. Sadly, I was a lot older at that stage. But nonetheless, it's not about me. It's about you now having won 2,000 pounds. Thank you very much. Good. So, Thank you, guys. So your parents are going on a trip, are they? Yes, possibly. Possibly. No, they, no, they, no, they, they will. Yeah. <laughs> it was I, a good I, story I, in the beginning. I'm sure there's a place called Venice on the south coast somewhere. Yeah. Yes, oh, well, <laughs> yeah. A Venice called <laughs> B Venice. Yeah. All right, so actually, look, well, congratulations, well done. Unfortunately, usual suspects, the prize fund has been won, so we reset the total back to £1,000 in the next game. Congratulations, Matthew. You achieved perfection. Let's hear it for Matthew, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, Thank you. well, well, well. It's now time to meet the next usual suspect, hoping to play perfection today. You usual suspect, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Hilary from Wimborne in Dorset, and I'm a school secretary. Welcome, Hilary. Thank you. And best of luck to all of you as we now find out which one of you will be randomly picked to play perfection. <laughs> Hermie, it's you. Come down and play perfection. 
Bermi, welcome to the game. Uh, what is it you do for a living, Anne? Uh, I work as a customer services manager. OK, well, Naomi, it's now you versus the usual suspects. They were your teammates, mm -hmm. now they're your enemies. Yes. Every game <laughs> on perfection is worth £1,000. Unfortunately for you, mm. the previous game was won, so the prize fund is reset to £1,000. <laughs> OK, three rounds of the final to come. The usual suspects, we're going to switch you off for now so you can't see or hear anything. Cheerio. And away they go. Nami, you can now talk through your answers without giving away any vital knowledge, OK? Yeah. Let's get started, then. Let's play perfection. <laughs> your 45 seconds starts now. In the film E.T., E.T.'s home planet is Mars. False. False. William Haig has a black belt in karate. I think I remember hearing something about that. Could be someone else, though. True. True. Top Gear's James May is known as Captain Flash. True. True. And finally, the adder is Britain's only native venomous snake. Black Adder was the name of that program. I have no idea. True. True. And with time to spare, you've answered all four statements. How was that as a round for you? Um, it was a bit... It was OK, not too bad. Before we reveal how well you've done, yeah. it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects, these were the four statements, and next to them are Naomi's answers. Hillary, has she achieved perfection? I'm not sure about C, actually. I think that might be wrong. OK, so the moment of truth. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many are correct. <laughs> Just two of the four. Plainly not perfection, Naomi. No. You've now let your enemies, the usual suspects, into the game. Usual suspects, can you steal the round? You can see Naomi's answers. You plainly need to change two of them. That's uh, William Hay, the black belt in karate. I think he might have. You think so? Is he T from Mars? Duh. Yeah. So do they say, oh, he's a Martian? He's an extraterrestrial, isn't he? See, if we're, saying, if we're saying B and D are correct, then it's got to be A and C. A and C, then, why not? A and C, I Nick. Want to be responsible. Lovely. A changes from false to true, and C changes from true to false, leaving B and D as Naomi first answered. Usual suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. If the statement turns green, it's true. If it turns red, it's false. In the film E.T., E.T.'s home planet is Mars. You changed it from false to true, usual suspects. You need it to turn green. Is it true or false? It's false, and already, usual suspects, you have failed to achieve perfection. His home planet was never specified. Are you still on for perfection at home? William Haig has a black belt in karate. Is that true or false? No, he hasn't. Uh, although he does have a blue belt in judo. Top Gear's James May is known as Captain Flash. Is that true or false? That is false. He's known as Captain Slow. The Adder is Britain's only native venomous snake. True or false? Yep, that's true. So, usual suspects, had you achieved perfection, you would now have the opportunity to make Naomi's chances of winning the prize fund that much harder in the final. And here's how. Naomi, here are the final round categories. Because neither side won the round, the two categories that were due to be chosen will now be carried over to the next round. Usual suspects, it's time to switch you off. We will see you a little later. Cheerio. Winning this next round with four categories now on offer could prove crucial. Yes. Are you ready? Yep. Let's play round two. <laughs> Your 45 seconds starts now. Dear Fatty is a book by Dawn French. True. True. Hamid Karzai is a former president of Pakistan. Honestly, I have no idea. Um, false. False. The US city Denver is known as the Mile High City. Mile High is it really... True. True. And finally, Sepp Blatter is the head of the IOC. True. True. And with time to spare, <laughs> Naomi, you've answered all four statements. <laughs> that was, yeah, a bit hideous, to be honest. A bit hideous <laughs> yeah. as a round. 
Well, listen, before we reveal how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects and see what they have to say. So, usual suspects, these are the four statements, and next to them are Naomi's answers. Guy, how's she done? I think uh, D is uh, actually false, because I think Seth Blatter's the head of something to do with football, UEFA, maybe, something like that. Naomi, the moment of truth. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many you've got correct. Three out of four. Close, but not close enough. Use your suspects. Can you steal the round? It's a good one to steal if you can, because there's four categories in the final yeah. on offer. You can see Naomi's answers. You need to change just one, but which one? Yes. I change D. Change D. Change D. Lovely. D changes from true to false. That's leaving A, B and C as Naomi answered. Usual suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. Dear Fatty is a book by Dawn French. True or false? It's true. It's her autobiography. Hamid Karzai is a former president of Pakistan. You said false. It is false. President of Afghanistan. The US city Denver is known as the Mile High City. It is true because it's pretty much a mile above sea level, which means you know where this is going. Sepp Blatter is the head of the IOC. It is false. Congratulations, usual suspects. You have achieved perfection. <laughs> Sepp Blatter is most famous for being the president of FIFA. Oh, dear, Naomi, the usual suspects have stolen the round. Usual suspects, you now have the opportunity to make Naomi's chances of winning the prize fund of £1,000 that much harder. Let's see the final board. Because you won the round, usual suspects, you've earned the right to choose four categories to add to the board. That's two from this round and the two that rolled over from round one. Which four would you like Naomi to play in the final? Football, I would say. She didn't know the last one, did she? No. Football, I agree. Shall we go with yeah. football? We'll go with football. football, Nick. Lovely. Football goes across and becomes the first category in the final. Star Trek, maybe. How about that? Shall we go with we'll Star go, Trek? We'll go with Star Trek. Thank uh, you, Star Trek. Nick. Two more. How do you think, how do you think she's going to be on Africa? Big a, country. Yeah, big country, yeah. Continent. Africa. Continent, yeah. Yeah, Africa, Nick. Thank you. Africa becomes the third. I need one more from you. Spiders. I was going to say spiders yeah. is quite... Sp spiders, yeah. But obscure, isn't yeah. it? Spiders, Nick. It's the final category. Thank you. Spiders goes across and becomes the fourth category of the six to be in the final. Congratulations, usual suspects. You've won the second round. It's time to switch you off and we'll see you in round three. And away they go. Naomi, you still have one more chance to find perfection to choose your own categories to go into yeah. the final. There's still two spaces available. Yeah. It's quite important you actually choose your own categories there, yes? Yeah. You ready to play the next round? Yep. Let's play round three. <laughs> your 45 seconds starts now. Actors Michael and Charlie Sheen are first cousins. True. True. The NHS was set up in the 18th century. Uh, false. False. Ian Woosnam is a former winner of the US Masters. True. True. The Pigeon is a famous play by Chekhov. True. True. And with time to spare, Naomi, you've answered all four statements. Was that an ugly round as well? A little bit, yeah, and I think I've got one of them wrong. Which well, one are you worried about? Um, a, um, Michael Sheen is an English actor, I think. I'm sorry, so Sheen you don't think they're related yeah, after all? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, before now. we reveal exactly how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects, these are the four statements, and next to them are Naomi's answers. Mike, has she achieved perfection? I think she could well have done. Uh, uh, th the only doubt I've got is about A. All right. Naomi, the moment of truth. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many are correct. Just two of the four. Naomi, you didn't quite manage perfection this time round either. You've let your enemies, the usual suspects, into the game again. Usual suspects. You can see Naomi's answers. You need to change two of them. She's right on B. Yes, yeah, so that's correct. So, I think yeah. the, 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 there is a famous play by Chekhov called The Pigeon. Is I, I may be wrong, but... So that's, you think that's true? I think that is true, so yeah. In that case, we need to change A and we C. We need to change A and C. Yeah. yeah. A and C we want to change, Nick. 
A changes from true to false. C changes from true to false. B and D remain as Naomi first answered. Usual suspects, let's find out what the correct answers are, shall we? Actors Michael and Charlie Sheen are first cousins. Is that true or false? It is false. Not even related. And uh, Michael, as you said, is uh, Welsh, actually. Yeah. The NHS was set up in the 18th century. Is that true or false? Yep, false. 1940s, in actual fact. Ian Woosnam is a former winner of the US Masters. Is that true or false? It's true. You won it in 1991. Oh, dear, usual suspects, you failed to achieve perfection. Let's clear up the last one, shall we? The Pigeon is a famous play by Chekhov. True or false? It's false. The Seagull, however, oh. is a famous play by Chekhov. <laughs> Let's have a look at the board. Nobody managed to win round three, meaning we have two blank spaces still to be filled. To fill those blank spaces, you will take it in turn to choose a category. Naomi, as you are the single player, you get to choose first. I'm going to take celebrities, Nick, please. Celebrities goes yeah. in. Usual suspects. You get to choose yeah. the final category. Saints. So, I mean, saints. There's an awful lot of saints, saints. and different dates of saints. What about inventions? Inventions, likewise. Yeah. Boys. yeah. Mm. I think she may know about saints. Shall we go for inventions? Uh, we, we go for inventions, yes. yeah. Inventions it is, yeah. Inventions, Nick, please. Lovely, thank you very much. Inventions comes across and becomes the six. We now know our six final categories. They are football, Star Trek, Africa, spiders, celebrities and inventions. Usual suspects, it's time to switch you off for the final time. Cheerio. And away they go. All right, well, look, Naomi, for £1,000, mm -hmm. it's time to play the final. Naomi, <laughs> mean, this is the all-important final. If you can achieve perfection, you could be leaving with a prize fund of £1,000. If you fail, you'll be leaving with nothing, which is great use for the usual suspects, as one of them could be playing for a rollover of £2,000 on the next game. Let's play the final round. Naomi, here are your six final categories. You must answer all six statements correctly if you want to win the £1,000. Think carefully. Mm -hmm. There's no time limit, but once yep. you've given an answer, it'll be locked in. Yep. You ready? Yep. Let's reveal your first statement. I need you to tell me whether it's true or false. Football. <laughs> Manchester United have never been relegated. Honestly, total guess. I'm going to say false. False? Yeah. Star Trek. William Shatner has directed a Star Trek film. I'm going to say true. True? Yeah. Africa. The population of Africa is over 2 billion. 2 billion. It's a massive continent. Um, oh. I'm going to say true. True. Spiders. Tarantulas can live for more than ten years. A friend of my mum had one. And I remember it being there for quite a while. So I'm going to go with true. True. The category you selected for yourself, celebrities. Yeah. Marilyn Monroe was married five times. I'm pretty sure she was married at least three, but I don't think she was married five. I'm going to say false. False? Yeah. And finally, inventions. Humphrey Davy is the inventor of the thermos flask. I'm going to go with a total guess and say... True. True? Yeah. Naomi, those answers are now locked in. Remember, if there is one single mistake, you leave yeah. with nothing. Which ones are you worried about? Um, F, because it's a total guess. C, I'm not convinced on either. They'd be the two main ones. And then again, A, because it's like, oh, have they? But So A, C and F are the ones that are worrying you? Yes, I think so, yeah. OK, well, let's bring back the usual suspects to see what they've got to say. Yep. Usual suspects, you can now see the final six statements. And next to them are Naomi's answers. Naomi, 
Your answers are locked in and you can't change them by yourself. But if you mm. think you've made a mistake, you can unlock them with the help of the usual suspects. This will, however, come at a cost. Usual suspects, I'm now going to ask you to tell me how well you think Naomi's done, if you want to help, and if you do, how much it will cost. Remember, all of you, you can't refer to any of the statements specifically. So, Naomi, who would you like to hear from first? Uh, let's go with Hillary first, please. I certainly know that one is wrong, mm. but other than that, I really don't think I can help you with the others. OK. So does that mean you'd come down for cash? No, I wouldn't. I thought it's much. Um, it's kind of, yeah, a thousand pounds. So, anybody else? Um, go on, I'll speak to Mike anyway, see what he has to say. Couple I'm not too sure of. Any of were completely sure, I'm a, I wouldn't come down because I want the money to roll over, I'll be honest about That's that. That's fair enough, Mike. Uh, go on, Guy. Uh, Naomi, I think uh, a lot of the answers are good. Uh, but some of them are bad. Um, really? But I'm going to be bad as well and stay in here. That's fine, so, Guy. Um, I would do the exact same. <laughs> well, there's not a lot of help coming your no, way, is there? I None don't... of the usual suspects are willing to help, so you're on your own. Yep. Um, £1,000 at stake, six answers away. Yeah. You might well have done it all on your own. Maybe. Let's find out if you've achieved perfection. <laughs> Remember, if the statement turns green, it's true. If it turns red, it's false. Manchester United have never been relegated. Now, you said you thought they never have, really, but over the years they must have been at some stage, so yeah. you said false. Is it true or false? It is false. <laughs> Yet they've been in the lower divisions several times. Yeah. What about one? I'm well on your way. Uh, William Shatner has directed a Star Trek film. You said true. So we need this to turn green for you to carry on. Is it true or false? It is true. He directed the fifth film yeah. in the series. Yeah. The population of Africa is over two billion. After a lot of thoughts, you said true. Mm. We need this to turn green for you to continue towards the cash. Mm -hmm. If it goes red, you're going home with nothing. Is it true or false? <laughs> it's false, I'm afraid. And I think you had second thoughts even after yeah, you'd answered it. It's like, I was thinking how many people it is, and I was like, no, that's wrong. <laughs> In 2009, mm. it passed one billion. Yeah. And there was quite a bit of publicity about that. So I'm afraid, mm. Naomi, you didn't achieve perfection, so therefore you go home with no cash at all. How are you doing at home? Are you still on for perfection? Let's continue on and find out, shall we? Tarantulas can live for more than 10 years. Is it true or false? Yep, it's true. Yeah. There you go. Ugly. Marilyn Monroe was married five times. Is that true or false? It is false. She was married three times. Yeah. That was your category you picked. You got that absolutely bang on. Had all the information on that one. Humphrey Davy is the inventor of the thermos flask. You said true. It is false. It was a minor safety lamp. Right. The Davy lamp. They were the two that I, I kind of figured I'd, I'd messed up on, so... Yeah. Uh, well, usual suspects, look, news for you. The prize fund rolls over to the next game, where one of you could be playing for a total of £2,000. <laughs> Naomi, I'm afraid you failed to achieve perfection, which means you go home with nothing. You enjoyed yourself, though? Yeah, no, it's been good, good fun. Good fun playing? Yeah, good fun. Totally good. Let's hear it for Naomi, everybody. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks. Well, that's all we have time for. Please join us next time when our usual suspects have the chance to play again, this time for £2,000. But remember, on this show, we only pay for perfection. Goodbye. <laughs>Always arguing about who does what in your home. Our daily domestics go under the expert microscope at 7 tonight on BBC Two. Weird science is the inspiration for the antiques road trip next.